goes there. All right. So today I am going over a ghoulie game, as you can clearly see. Uh, he will be playing someone that perhaps you've seen before. Uh, White is a player who pops up here and there. Not the best player in the world. Um, but, you know, puts out some results every once in a while. Definitely not a weak professional player by any means. The 8P sort of gets that away. Uh, however, I do have to warn everyone that this is going to be a bit of a violent game that I'm going to be going over. I see that you lovely people are immediately guessing when the tree is going to be broken. That's probably the only reason you attend these. That's quite all right. I do not mind. But yes, yeah, suffice it to say, it is a good thing this is not a Gallagher show because this game is extremely, extremely bloody. So on that note, let's take a look at why that is. All right, so black opens up with a 4-4 stone, as you expect from any game I ever go over. Nothing unusual happens in the opening. I say that each and every time, and it is completely true. Black happily does not... Wait a minute, did I get these names wrong? All right, how dumb do I have to be to get the players wrong? One moment. Do 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 uh, and we see that Black also chooses not to try and make some sort of weird micro Chinese thing for himself. He just encloses all nice and orthodox, as has been mentioned. And since White does not have three, four stones, we know that the Chinese variation is not going to be seen this game. So immediately, a huge sigh of relief can be heard that we're going to see something different for a change. White encloses off of his 4-4 stone. Slightly unusual. Definitely not something that you see very often. Usually we think to ourselves, if we're going old school, that we are going to split in this manner. And very likely our opponent will kind of push us from above and extend. Or maybe approach first before doing that to see if we can get an even larger extension. Or maybe we are going to approach the corner directly at that point. Who knows what's going to happen? We got pincers and backing off, and these lead to other variations that are all very, very cool, but we're not going to see here. Instead, White says something very, very unusual. White says, I am not approaching you, I'm going to prevent you from extending. You can go ahead and grab that star point for yourself. You can do something else, whatever you like. Two Q says that should grab Q10, and it does seem to be a very obvious point. Instead, Black also takes his enclosure. Uh, apparently, he does not want to get into some kind of weird framework versus uh, framework here. They're kind of right now both kind of sticking towards the territory. You enclosed, I'm enclosed. Now you're going to have to reduce me. Now maybe we're going to finally see that split on the right-hand side, because when we have two enclosures, they're both eyeing the exact same location, so we know where they want to go. Instead, white takes the dreaded point of doom, and immediately we have to contemplate it's like, I saw how the game ended. Is it really worth putting up with this framework to get to that point? 
three star points. Do we do we do it, or am I trolling you all? Am I gonna throw out this game and go over another one? Because I considered that too. Because that would have been funny. But no, we are going to tough it out and see if maybe, since he is Guli, maybe White can turn this game into something more interesting than just the three star points. We will see, we will see. Um, I've gone over why I dislike that San Rensei so much. Um, I have a little three part series on how I was playing from when I first started playing the game. Kind of go into it in detail there. You can look up those videos and check it out if you want. It's on my channel. But all right. We see Black take the star point finally for himself. Why? Because obviously it's an, it's an extension from both of his corners, which happen to have enclosures. So we know that that was going to happen sooner or later. And in this case, it is sooner rather than later. The question now is what is white going to do? What will white do? Is white going to invade? Is white going to extend? Is white going to turn his enclosures into territory? What will happen? K16 is a large point. Okay, Rukus, if I would saw Tengen after this, I would have thrown this game out. And I think everyone here would not be surprised. Seems like building up on his framework is bad. Okay. Well, that aside, he does build up his framework. Because it's a large point from both players. This is a nice 3 4 enclosure. If white lets black get an extension down here, then he has a double wing, which we do not want him to get. So all right, extending framework, taking large point away from black. So all right. Now what? Now where's the largest point? What is going to happen? There are still large points on the board. Also tank and available. Moves that we can make we can use to make territory with. Moves that we can use to approach with. Invade with. Now, given that I'm the one going over this game, clearly Tengen is something that's not going to be played. We can rule that out immediately. So what is played instead? Believe it or not, Black plays M3. What is M3 and why did he play it? Because it looks, for all intents and purposes, that at move 11, he has decided the best thing for himself is to play a two-point extension. Surely that's not what he really wants, is it? He wants F3. Oh, Rukus, the man, he can tell us what's going on in this game. Indeed. If white plays elsewhere and black gets to enclose, then this stone would be in a lot of trouble, because it's already pincered by black's last stone. Alright, alright. That makes sense. So this is a bit an attack. And, 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 we can even use it later on as an extension. We can build up off of it. Okay. So we can kind of see what's going on here. White, not wanting to be attacked, defends himself. Makes it harder to pincer and attack and crush K3. Happy Sente, now what? Um, is there anything to attack? No. Is there anything that we can threaten to attack? No. Is there a large point on the board left? Yeah, yeah, yeah. As CW1990 has said, 
K16 is the last large pawn on the board. And so black takes it for himself. So who thinks I'm trolling you all and we're actually looking at a 20Q game right now? Because that is another thing that I, th I contemplate doing every once in a while. I like going over simple, easy to understand games. One of these days, I swear to God, I'm throwing in a 25Q game and just waiting to see when you realize But all right, black takes his extension. It's now white's turn. Do we take Tengen? Be honest, how many people here would play Tengen right now? Rukia says I would play Tengen right now. Well, I'm I'm glad that you are willing to tell us this, Rukus. The first step in getting help for yourself is admitting you have a problem. So everyone, say hello to Rukus. But yes, we don't play Tengen here. That's uh, doesn't threaten anything. It doesn't really even try to take very much for yourself. Uh, gives, you know, initiative to your opponent, things that we don't really want to do. White keeps the idea of trying to enlarge the area. Oh, did I just see the right move? Wait, 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 let me scroll up. Hold on. Play in the M4. Okay. Okay. We're getting close with that comment. We're really close. Playing in the M4 area, I do like that natural inclination. Because what you're saying there is, I would like to build up. And I'm kind of interested in using my opponent's stones in order to do that. So we see diagonal here. Which is threatening to lean down on black's position. If we can get kind of a wall here, not only are we keeping black nice and flat and unable to, you know... Uh, grow anymore like we could have if black got this stone but if we get something like this then we're also threatening to invade the right hand area which is really really always very good to do unfortunately it's not what we call a severe move if black ignores it we're not about to say to ourselves oh my god we can kill him now right so black can go off and do whatever he wants, and he chooses to invade. Okay, so now we have an invasion. He says, thank you, white. I understand exactly what it is you are trying to do, and I'm going to respond by attacking the center of this area you're developing, and I'm going to reduce it from you. White says, I see what you are doing there. And I'm going to ensure that it's very, very difficult for you to live. You have a very, very noble goal in mind. But can you live while you are trying to accomplish it? So as Black valiantly tries to get himself a base, White applies as much pressure as possible to keep him unsettled. Black becomes a nuisance. Threaten connection later on. goes back and threatens to cut through and snag himself a stone, which white is not going to allow and keep the pressure onto black. But black says, that's fine, I am not surrounded, I'm simply going to escape. And white says, if you are simply going to escape, I am going to simply follow you and I will be happy with this. To which black replies, that is completely fine. If you are happy with that, I'm going to settle and live. Your move, what will you do? So all right, a bit of a frame, a bit of a base here now for black. Rukus immediately looks at the upper left and says, oh, "The top left now is huge for white." Moreover, it is now white's move, so he can actually continue growing that large left. But will he? J15 would be my move. Hmm. 
An interesting idea there, Rukus. I like that you see that there's a follow-up there. But we have to ask ourselves, is that really the largest thing on the board right now? If we're content in giving our opponent a wall here, can we make more on the left than black can make on the right? As Pro5Q says, no, 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 you cannot do that, you must invade. And he's quite correct. That would be way too much for black. So we have that move available. I would like to follow it up at some point later. But for now, he's going to follow up his move and play N4. Congratulations! So he follows up. Black responds, because that's why we uh, play that little diagonal. Following up is simply our way of saying, our move has purpose. You should not have ignored me. And now, since we know we can't simply back off and get a very, very large area, with j15, that it's simply not enough. Black is going to find himself invaded on the next move. Now here's a question that I have for you. What? How would you invade? What would you do? How would you look at this framework and say to yourself, I'm going to reduce you? S15 looks interesting. Okay, okay. We can use the exact same invasion that black used on the bottom left in order to do the upper right. Okay. Um, R10? <laughs> oh, Peacock. I remember when, who was it? Was it Yi Sedol or Li Cheng Ho? I forget. One of the two. I remember when one of them just like attached there for an invasion. I thought they were completely insane, but they lived so easy. I always look at R10 now. You know what? I rarely do this. Since we're covering good ideas, um, I'm noticing that we do have, you know, a, a fair range of players watching this game. And they might make a mistake. That being, where would you not want to invade? How do we not invade this? How would you expect a double digit Q to invade this badly? Uh, P10? Capping, that's definitely bad, yeah. Uh, L16 too far away. I'm looking for something very specific. Ooh, thank you. Pro 5Q, absolute. That's, that's what I was looking for. Because I do see this almost every time I pop in a double digit Q game, or even some of the lower ranked uh, single digit Qs, where you just plop a stone in the center of everything and just YOLO. You hope that maybe this is going to run away. You hope that somehow this isn't going to die. And invariably it probably is going to. Uh, usually when we're asking ourselves where do we actually find a good move, the reason why we were thinking about moves like S15 is because we can envision how we're going to uh, get a base uh, like we saw on the left, or maybe get the corner, so we have possibilities there. Uh, even the connection underneath, no matter which way you honey, there's a lot of room, so we can envision that there's room to get a base. So here, when we see the simple approach, as opposed to this. We know we're going to get kicked. We know we're going to get pincered. And we know we're going to have to jump out. But we can use those low stones in order to get out. This is actually a fairly common, very, uh, common, common sequence that uh, many of you ought to know. And there's one also one minor benefit for this. Uh, this is more of a way where we're thinking, I'm not just interested in settling, I would kind of like to do some damage at some point. Because we can see here, as this gets more and more influence, 
the question of these two stones begins to come into play. Like, are these too close? Can I? Are these going to be pincered and attacked? Do I have to really worry about these things? So white uh, finds that black is responding to him all nice and strong. Nice undercut. Those two stones are getting weaker and weaker. Black plays the Atari, which white says not interested in. Black connects. And at this point, it's pretty safe to say that he's out, simply because there's a lot of things going on here. We are nicely undercut, so we have base uh, options that way. Um, clearly we're out, we're not going to get surrounded with one move, you know, all this area is nice and open, so we're fine that way. Uh, these two stones have to be a lot stronger in order to completely surround us, so that's not going to happen. I mean, if you try to picture one stone that can completely surround this group, I mean, where do you actually, where do you actually find it? It's kind of, it's just not there, is it? So white goes back and does something truly fun and begins the bloodbath that I mentioned earlier. I mentioned when I started this game that this game's going to be very, very violent and aggressively attacking the left-hand side is essentially how that's going to occur. And even the timing of this is something that we love to look at. Because this isn't just some random, all right, you know, I'm fine, I guess I can just, you know, screw my group. I can either enclose him here or maybe take territory here. I mean, all this is very well planned out. By attacking the group, he might get more influence out of this. And if he gets more influence out of this, it's only going to serve to further hurt black stones. So this isn't just some random, I better invade you now before doing anything else. It's if I do something else now, I might get a group to attack. And since there's already one on the board, this could go very well for me. It's amazing how often in Go, the highest you have to count to is the number two. All right, so black push. White says, cool. Don't worry there, you'll get it eventually. Um, you, luckily, you don't have to count at all in counting because the computer will do it for you. So don't worry about that, Mo Boy. Alright, so Black's attaching to try and get some extra strength here. Uh, if we can lean on the bottom group in order to get stronger, that's great, because that, that uh, group is already pretty strong. We're not going to make it stronger. So black backs off, or white backs off. Black extends. White extends. Try and get out. And now we go into a co. Is that an option? Because if there are, I'm pretty sure there's a factory of threats on the left-hand side of the board that we can use to have a lot of fun with. So black takes. Okay, then commence factory. And this is one of the reasons why I personally picked this game. Because as I'm sure you know, I'm really, really god-awful at Coes. Sad but true. Black backs off. And connects. White one, just like that. Ah, I wish all of my co went that easily. Ah, I can dream, I can dream. Alright, so Black's trying to defend himself. Um, is he fine yet? What do you think? Is this shape alive just yet? Alive? Not quite yet, yeah. Not yet. It's it's getting safer, um, but yeah, not quite there yet. I mean, this here is... Why did I make all those? I have to click them all away now. Da, 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 da. There we go. I mean, this isn't really an eye. This can easily be pushed and turned into, you know, not an eye. Lots of cool things happening there. But before we resume our attack, 
White takes some points for himself. Black continues the co. If we can cut that, that would be great. White makes himself some shape and gets into the middle. Mill is the most interesting part of this board right now because the two stones are in a little bit of trouble and the left hand side is still not alive yet. Black says, that's a great shape you have there. It'd be a shame if something happens to it. And now white has to figure out what to do. White takes the co and allows black to cut through. A rather aggressive choice. Fixes his shape so he doesn't again get cut through, allowing black to retake the co. Pushes through and then retakes. Now the game just got a little bit more complicated because this co is now worth something. Does everyone see why? Yep, R17. That would not be a very uh, nice move for white to get in. Black says, okay. I will live in your corner. White says, no, you will not. If I cannot live in your corner, then I will retake the coat. Nicely connected, white comes out. Ensures that his group is nice and safe in the middle. No counterattacks or splitting attacks going on here anytime soon. Retakes the coat, threatens to surround, have to escape. keeps connection. And now white ups the co. So this is slowly getting more and more aggressive. We've got a lot of uncertainty on this board right now. What's happening in the corner, we're not entirely certain. The bottom left, not entirely alive yet. The middle, uh, well, <clears throat> the middle's got cut points and small knights and things. There's Aji there, if we can figure out how to use it. So, a bit of a tough game. Black connects. And white moves to take. White says, I will cut through you. Black says, that's fine, I'm not losing that corner. And so, we're cut through. Alright, that's a bit of a profit, that's a bit of a profit. Um, only downside right now is that, you know, there are cut points everywhere. Mm-hmm, use the Aji and a Co. Black cuts, tries to take the left, the right-hand side for himself. White has no choice but to, you know, fork it over. Make sure he can't get cut off of there as well. Black ignores to connect up. So it looks like everything is kind of settling, right? We kind of have this idea that Black's connecting his groups up, which is good. And he's trying to, you know, giving it his all. But the top of the board, on the other hand, it, um, it, um, yeah, that, that top of the board, it's, uh, we, there's something that we can say about that top of the board. Uh, usually, one thing you don't want to give to your opponent is quite literally about a fourth of the board. That, that's usually pretty good. That's usually pretty good. So something, I think, is probably going to have to happen here. But I love Black's attitude with this. Black's attitude is not, Oh my god, I need to live right fracking now, or I'm screwed. Black's attitude is, well, let's see how much I can get for myself first before I worry about what you have. Like, maybe we don't actually have to reduce the mu that much of the board. 
maybe we're going to get a lot by attacking these three stones that don't really have a solid connection. That would be that would be amazing. So all right, we're cut off now. White strengthening himself from it for his uh, happy little profit. Black tries to make some magic happen. White Atari. And Atari strengthening Black out in the middle. But he gets to keep what he has this way. Unfortunately, it's in Gote. So Black cuts him out. Now this game is getting a little bit more bloody again because we're fighting over everything. Essentially, it's kind of weird. It's like two halves of the board are currently being contested right now. I mean, it's almost as if they just made a wall down the center, and now it's just who can reduce who. Who's better at using Aji? Is it going to be white and find a way to make those three stones work? Is it going to be black? I mean, what's, what's going to happen? White says, I am Guli, I can make anything happen, and I will attach and use Aji. Okay, that is definitely using Aji. Black tries to keep him out. White connects up. Black is moving to increase his profit. Because if, if this dies, oh my god, clearly Black wins this game. I mean, that's just way too much. So, alright. Pushing through. Playing the Atari. Uh, let's see, do I want to have you guess what happens here or later? Yeah, let's do it later. White gets this cut. Yes, at K5, exactly. So now, how do we respond to that? Black chooses to jump out, which means those four stones have the potential to connect up via Ko. So that right there is pretty large. But he doesn't want to connect up via Ko there, only to lose the corner, right? So he's not going to do that right now. He plays the Atari, which Black connects, and then chooses to uh, drop down. He's going to try to live here first, but he's also doing a little bit more than living. He's also calling into question slowly but surely the status of Black's group. And as we see Black here trying to kill him, then that question is becoming most pronounced. We... what? Yeah, go there and then there. And then we get to throw in to kill. White drops down, but that's not going to be allowed to make two eyes. So we throw in again. Threatening to take all of the eyes away from black. Black is not going to allow that to occur. Let's see, was it a connection here? No, it was a take, okay. And now it's a connection, there we go. And then white connects. So the question now is, is someone gonna win this capture race? Is it gonna be Seki? Did someone just make a really, really big blunder? Well, black has to connect now, otherwise he's dead, which allows white to drop down. Is anyone able to read out this particular uh, particular result? Rukus says Seki. All right, Rukus, how do we know that? Maybe we are really, really bad at uh, this kind of... Th okay, Rukus is guessing. All right, anyone... Uh, anyone actually able to read this out uh, carefully? 
one eye to one eye few outside liberties. Okay. So he thinks it's Seki. All right, let's keep looking at this and see how it goes. Right now it's Ko. So that makes that simple. Mm hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm. Gonna, of course, connect. And then retake. Threaten a connection underneath to make it really, really simple. Black says no. So white retakes. Connects, otherwise everything's dead. That'd be bad. So retakes. Local threat. Gets him to fill. And thus gets to retake. White says, or black says, I'll connect everything up and try to kill you now. Or labor, whatever. Oh, uh, for me it's a spoiler, mo boy. I've already seen this game. White throws in first and says that's not a threat, so I'm connecting. All right, so white won the co. So is black dead? Is black alive? Is this a seki? What's up? Yeah, they do share this liberty, that is true. So if white takes this liberty, black will Atari, throw in, replace. So white would have to fill in here. Okay, you can't see my mouth, I'm stupid, sorry, I forgot. So white would have to fill in here, and fill in here, while black throws in. Indeed. So, okay, that um, is interesting. Clearly white would need to throw it to fill in at F1. Would have to fill or remove the liberty at D5, and that's after capturing H5 and E9, or what? No, E, huh? Yeah, E9. So clearly, He's not going to be able to do all that and still capture, right? Black can reduce white back down to no liberties. So, okay. We're going to let bygones be bygones. And now the question is, how screwed are you? Because that, mm, after the connection, white connects. So now we have an issue, a very, very delicate issue, because there are things that we do not want to do here, such as we do not want to randomly start attarying things, given that there's also, you know, really bad, uh, both bad cut points and our opponent getting stronger to live in the middle. We don't want to. We don't want to do any of that. That's just going to help our opponent. So he plays here first. Black throws in, and then seeks to get shape for uh, a base. Get those eyes that we so desperately want. White throws in, saying, no, 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 you are not going to live here, this is my area, and you can kindly die if it would be so kind. Okay, so that stone's dead, but we did get a little bit for ourselves. White finds that black can now connect up, which means we have to live here in this area. So once again, we have moved, we have a group that's in trouble. So immediately, white takes. Black says, no life for you here. White says, well, how about I cut through? Black says, no, you cannot cut through. Well, how about I get my other eye? Uh, that one's a little bit more difficult. 
That one you can have at the moment. Oh, for frack's sake, really? When did that happen? Arg, I went back. I went back. I went back. How did I go back? Do, 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 do. I looked at the. Okay, right there. Yeah, because I was looking at chat. Alright. Alright. That makes more sense now. That makes more sense now. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's usually one of the reasons why I make uh, my ruin the tree. Because I'm looking at the chat, and yeah. Ah, well. Almost got through it. Almost got through it. Yeah, then we take. Thank you very much. And then we go, no life for you. At which point we say, can I cut? And Black says, no, we cannot cut. Sorry, not going to happen. So after we go for the life, then we go for the eyes, because we need eyes if we're going to try to kill this. So here we go with that. And at this point, we have to ask ourselves, who is alive? Who is alive? Is it possible to live? Because white thinks that black cannot live. And black thinks that black cannot live. Which is why he resigns. So thus it has ended. Because we can see the top. We just can't get rid of all of the ways that we need to. Good luck reading this out. Well, actually, it's more of a question of can white be killed? That's the first question you have to ask yourself. Can we kill white? So we could do something like... Uh, oh, no, I need that stone. Get back here, you freaking moron. We can be like, YOLO, I'm going to kill you. And we can ask ourselves, are you really going to kill me? Like, yes, I'm really gonna kill you. It's like, are you sure you're gonna kill me? Yes, I'm sure you're gonna kill I'm gonna kill you. Well, you're not gonna kill me. That's a problem. It's like, okay, fine, well then I'm going to obviously play here, so you can't do that. Oh right, that doesn't work. We can't actually play that way. So that's that's how that's that's not dying. So once we've established that white's not dying, the question becomes, can black live? And that, um, that, that's, that, that's a humdinger right there. Because nothing here is going to die. I mean, there's just, there's just nowhere to go. So yeah, clearly, clearly, clearly dead. Are you joking? It's only 8.42? I thought this game was going to take me like over an hour to go through. M17 gives white one eye. M17? M17? Didn't I already go through that, Rukas? M17 first. I think white would do this first, not M17 first, but okay. Oh, for black. Okay. Uh, this? M7. I still not seeing. Oh, okay. I see. I see. I see. I see. I see. You're okay. I see what you're saying. Cause you're looking. Okay, you're looking for the whole life thing still, right? I see. You're still looking for the life thing. All right. What we're not quite realizing at the moment is that even if you get an eye here. That doesn't have one yet. So we can't play this yet. We have to do, um, hmm, how do we do this? We need an eye on the outside in Sente, and that we're never gonna get, right? This 
so yeah, very, very aggressive game. Lots and lots of life and death. Lots of interesting direction of uh, play choices. As was mentioned at the very beginning of the game, it's like, this completely defies all direction of play that I've ever been taught or whatever the guy said. And yeah, kind of, kind of. It's very much kind of a framework versus framework game. And in the hands of Ghoulia, those games turn really, really bloody. Now, before I move on to anything else, I will go ahead and take a moment to point out that uh, those of you who wish for lectures to continue, you are more than welcome to uh, donate at the link provided to my PayPal at akari at zoominternet.net. Um, I think we are down to, what, point 0.4? Yeah, I think we have like point 0.4 lectures left, so that's cool. Uh, let's see. What to do with the extra 15 minutes? We have options now. We do have options. For the next 15 minutes, I could select someone randomly who is watching and play through an opening, at the very least, that we can uh, review. That would be fine. Um, do I have anything else? I don't think I have anything else that I can really go into in 15 minutes besides that. Let's play Hangman. I don't think we can play Hangman, sorry. You'd have to ask for that feature to be installed on the KGS. That is not going to sing for you. But yes, you have options. Should I simply end it here, or shall I select someone randomly who volunteers and play through an opening? All right, let's see, we've got... It looks like we have a few people. We've got Mr. Monday. We've got... Dark. And... Pick the strongest watcher. That would be Dark right now, who's volunteering. I'm not gonna just, like, throw it at someone. So yeah, I think that's dark. What, Rukus? Is Rukus the strongest person? What? Oh, you are? So you're not 1Q? Is this your way of saying that you're a sandbagger? Is, is this what we're seeing? Oh, I'm not a sandbagger. I'm just lazy. Let's see. Where's my boot button? All right. Let's see if we can do that. Uh, let's go back to here. I'm not going to reopen. That just takes up time. Let's just completely murder the tree while we're at it. And play through the beginning of an opening. We'll play you and Rukis. All right, there you go, Rukas. Can I actually... this would be funny. Can I do that? Oh, I can't. Darn it. I tried to put Sandbagger in your rank. Oh, well. It complained that it only accepts Q or D in numbers. This is not going to work. I am white. And he likes large knights. Alright, Mr. Large Knight, I'm going to approach you normally. And see what we're going to do. Oh man, large knight into weirdo crazy large pincers. I haven't seen that one in ages. Okay, fine. Pe I can't change the participants anymore. I'm sorry, it's locked out. It's currently gray. Uh, all right, so I can't. Let's see what I want to do. What I want to do? I don't know. Um, <laughs> I'm tempting to play away. Yeah, you know what? Let's play away. Let's just play away. 
and see what fun stuff we can get into. Let's also turn on my fan because it's quite warm. Okay, mm so we're gonna do this now. Okay, okay, okay. Um, <laughs> I must live, preferably in Sentai. That'd be awesome. Okay, let's go here now. Uh oh. I don't know what you did to Rapsnod, but I think he wants you to die. Really? You're gonna Atari that stone? Huh. Okay. I did not expect that. Ah, oh, what do you do when they do that? Do you just like drop down? Cause that's still a thing? Do you high? I don't think I've ever seen that reply before. Hmm. What do you do? I don't know. What's Hane? I guess he has to go under now? Okay. That looked, yeah, it did look pretty important. I like it. Um... I really want to get in that drop down, but then he's going to cut me, and then it's just going to be like, why did you do that if you're not going to protect? Are you retarded? To which I'm going to have to say, obviously I am. Um, I don't know. Let's just connect, I guess. Maybe I should have played light here. Maybe I should have played capped instead. What, cap the fourth line? That would be weird. Okay. Now I can drop down. We're dropping. He does. He's trying to get everything instead of just like one or the other. He's not letting me compromise. Oh, he's approaching. Okay. Um, you're gonna hit the three three, aren't you? Because I still don't know what I think about that. I mean, I've been showing it in my uh, lessons that the 3-3 three, three is very, very normal here. But I kind of really, really like it for white. Or, no, wait. In this case, it's for black and not white. And so I don't really know what to say about it. Okay, so we're going for a large framework now. Okay, okay. Um, there was a, once upon a time I would pincer this. Every single time it was played against me, I would pincer. Maybe it's time to bring back the pincer. Is it time to bring back the pincer? If I do that and he does that, uh, no, it's not really a great thing to do. I mean, I should just enclose. Uh, uh, uh. You know what? Since my 3-3 three, three is open and I don't have any corners yet, let's just enclose. Let's just enclose. Yeah, Pinsir is kind of cool because then they attach to you. At that point, you Hane and they Hane and you connect and they connect. And, you know, it gets kind of interesting that way. Alright, so what is going on here? I can go underneath that, so I don't have to be jealous of the top, because he's only got maybe to the K line if I get in a move like G18. So that's just like an enclosure with an extension, potentially. Have to weigh how much that's worth. I could pincer, because he wants to try to make that into a thing, but that seems like it's slow. Let's keep you the frack out of my 3-3. My corner, mine, go away. Mm. 
Okay. Now I can pincer here. Or I can say all I want to do is just build up. And take a little point down the middle. Cause this game's a game about territory and I like me my territory. But they want to see blood. So blood must be seen. Indeed. Indeed. So, okay, uh, most natural response for him is now probably to jump out. You know, it just dawned on me that he can hear every fracking thing I'm saying. Sorry about that, Rukas. I'm used to talking when I'm playing. Well, not just randomly. I don't like when I'm when I'm streaming. I should say, it's not like I'm there playing a normal game and I'm just like constantly talking to myself. It's like really, you use different voices when you're all alone and no one's listening to you. It's like yes, I do. Doesn't everyone? Uh, let's see. No, I only did that once in a tournament. I only did that once. Oh god, I still remember that too. Because yeah, I, I was used to like commenting on my moves either to myself or to like someone who's watching me. So he played a bad move, and I thought it was a bad move, so I remarked, Oh, that's a bad move. And then I realized that he's right in front of me. Needless to, I don't know if he was mad, I kept my eyes firmly on the board, and I did not look up for the rest of the game. like, nope, we're pretending that didn't happen. Let's see. Uh, I can do this, I think. Guitar seems fun. And then I get to... Uh, don't know what I get to do. What do I? What can I do? He's going to do something. Oh, I can do that. I can do that. I want to do this. Then I can go there and then dupe and then dupe. No, it wasn't a random game. It was a tournament game. Hmm, you are trying to prevent me from going underneath. I understand. Oh yeah, how great would that would be if I was your chem professor there, WW3. So you're not going to let me do this? Is that what you are saying? Is this what you are saying with that comment? I do not get to do this. Okay, okay. What can I do instead? I can drop down, you go left, but you just ensured I can't connect because you are not cooperative. Alright, I do this instead then. This looks like Sente. I should have gone diagonal first, I'm stupid. 
Oh well, it's just fine. I meant to do this. It's exactly what I wanted to do. Alright, so I think I'm doing pretty well here. So... I think... Let's see, do I drop S3 now or attack? S3 is like one of those things that I can do because it's kind of cool. But there's no fracking way that he's going to die there. So... So we will proceed in the time-honored tradition of YOLO and attach. Okay. Um, <laughs> guess I will pincer. Because I do not like that Q9 stone. I did not like it the minute it was played. Therefore, we must attack it and kill it. Or at the very least, make it, you know, rethink its life. Mm-hmm. That's, that's pretty much uh, how that goes there. WW3. Ooh, I see a small knight. Small knights I heard can be cut. Who did I hear that from? I heard it from myself. Ooh, I believe it. But was I lying? I could have been lying to myself. I do that a lot. I don't know. Hmm. I'm going to believe I was telling the truth and that these things can be cut. Those of you who are just joining, I am playing Rukus because we had about 15 minutes left, and I thought, what better way to use 15 minutes than to turn it into like, I don't know, a half an hour? Oh, you're home. What is going on here? Oh, he's sacrificing. No! You were supposed to fight and struggle and die gloriously in the name of teaching. This is not according to my script at all. Oh, that's better. Thank you. Oh, uh, let's see. Ladder still works, so I can extend. Hmm. I'm an Atari. An Atari. Or semi Atari. What's semi Atari? I like semi Atari. Yeah. Okay, do I semi Atari from this side or that side? If I semi Atari from this side, he pushes me there. And then I extend, extend, then block. If I semi Atari from this side, I extend, extend, then block. Well, it's kind of the same thing, really. Not the same thing. If I send my Atari from this side, then when I go there, then that's like a net and things. I, I don't I don't like a net and things. Hmm. I think I have to send my Atari from the other side. I will send my Atari from this side. 
I cannot send my Atari from T10, that's just crazy. I'm thinking you don't understand semi-Atari. I wouldn't lose all of them, I'd have a few left. Alright, so if I go here, do, 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 I think I should have sent my Atari from the other side. Oh, that wasn't reading. I just missed Mario. Blue, blue, blue. <laughs> you can tell how old some of these people are. It's like you recognize that. Okay, so if I go here, then he's going to connect. And then I descend, I have one, two, three, four, five, six liberties. I like six liberties. Okay. Uh, I, uh, uh, I died. Da, 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 da. I can do that, and I can, I can do that, I can do that, I can do that, yeah, I can do that, I can do that, I can do that. Maybe I should just go here. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Hmm. Okay, I, I'm gonna go here then. I'm gonna go here. Okay. Now, I don't want to connect under. I want to cut first. But what the point in cutting? I can't do anything. YOLO. Yes, knowing go makes you old. Just so you know. You age at twice the speed of everyone else the longer you play Go. Just thought I'd share that with you. I mean, the minute you decide to, like, pass up going out with your friends because you want to watch a game on Tygem, you know that you're in trouble. What? Meet girls? But ye said all is playing! Okay, you're screwed. Alright, now we have to play here. Um, do you mind if we just review now there, Rukus? Alright, thank you for playing very much. Yeah, I went past the Fusaki because I was kind of uh, getting interested in how the game was going to progress. Um, suffice to say, he played the Large Knight followed by uh, the High Pincer, which I didn't really know what I wanted to do with. So I played elsewhere figuring, okay, we're going to transition into a Chinese variation, so I slapped a Chinese variation down too and figured it would be kind of, sort of, maybe even. Um, if I was going to respond here locally, though, 
I think what I'd probably wind up doing is maybe something like this. Just to settle and not care about anything else. I like just settling with wide approaches like that. Though I also considered really having fun and just playing here. But we'll go back to that more in a minute because I actually did play a variation like that. This was interesting though. Usually I see either this, in which case I'm going to cut because we might get into something fun. Or I see... what is it? Yeah, because if I cut you'd play here and then we play here, here, the Atari, and then we're probably going to get into a Ko. Uh, I'm kind of glad you didn't choose this variation because the entire game is going to be based on this Ko and who's like getting the better end of the deal and that kind of thing. Yeah, it's Ko and it's Bat, so you'd win by resignation. Congratulations. Uh, so instead we played here. Oh, oh, forgot. And if you don't like that, we usually just back off. That way, you know, White has to again decide how this is going to live at all, ever. Since it's uh, high and not low, this is actually quite easy to deal with. Um, so we played here and I Hane. And after I connected, I thought for sure you were going to try something like connecting under to take this side for yourself. That way it's you know pretty basic. You get this side, I get influence, I'm undercut, unless I spend you know a gote point ensuring that's not going to happen, which I probably wouldn't do. Instead, you're kind of getting a little bit greedy here with this move. You're saying, you know what, maybe I can connect to the right-hand side. I don't really care right now. I just want to try and make sure that you don't get anything. And that's usually when bad things start happening. So I drop down. You are right to ignore it. You are right to ignore it. Um, I don't really like this position, though. I'd rather take something on the top, because you're already uh, low at M2. So I think I would rather either approach from here, or go ahead and approach this. So you approach there, and I'm fine with backing off. And just for those of you who see can see the variation I was referring to, uh, this is really modern right now. Oops, sorry, not that, not that, not that. There we go. This is pretty modern right now. Black gets to usually back away at this point because you can't kill white just yet. Like, I'm gonna kill you! It's like, really? It's like, yes, I'm gonna kill you! Really? Because last time I checked, I can make eyes here. So sometimes white then decides, you know what? Fine, you're gonna, you're gonna play this. That's okay. I'm gonna connect to really, really hurt you. But then black just plays away again because the corner's kind of small. Alternatively, some people play here to kind of defend the cut point, and if we can eliminate the two stones on the outside, then we can go back and think about the middle, about the corner. I don't know, it's kind of weird right now. But needless to say, he didn't play that. He played this. So I enclosed, kept my corner. I thought first he was going to come out. Like, I expected um, some kind of attack on J4. Try to get me to connect back up. I thought it would be after the jump out. Because here, this looks a little bit too easy for me. I mean, if your goal right now is to connect underneath, I'm good. I'm pretty. I'm pretty good with that. I'm pretty good with that. Because if I can get this kind of influence for free, essentially, I'm fine. I can turn around and really use it against your stone. And we can see they're not really making much in the way of territory here, because a lot of this is like really, really low, right? Not much territory here. 
And as Yannick is pointing out, that wall is going to be just priceless. So yeah, I would definitely come out first. Don't want to be surrounded here. And now we see that something is trying to go over there. That's fascinating. Um, let's see here. Sorry about that. Uh, where was I? Um, so yeah. Didn't like that. Seriously, helicopter? Are you hovering directly overhead? You can probably hear that in the background. Um, so yeah. You come out, that's great. I like that you're trying not to get me odd, give me uh, too much Aji, because I mean, obviously, you're worried about this kind of deal. This is a really great idea. But we also figured out the reason why we see more often the diagonal here, and probably you probably would have played the diagonal too in most every other game that you play. Because uh, the Small Knight obviously can be cut, the ladder is working for me, so there's no reason why I wouldn't. I'm looking for any opportunity I can to use this wall for myself, so this is just a shining beacon, like, hey, hey, you get to make this not suck now. So obviously I'm going to go after it. This is what I was worried about. It's like, do I defend here? If I do, I'm in trouble. Unless I do this, maybe? Can I get away with that? I don't think I can. Because, I mean, this is going to die now. What's wrong with cutting at Q10 instead of P10? I don't know. Let me see what those are. What's wrong with cutting at Q10 instead of... <gasps> oh, this is the most disgusting way you can ever usually cut someone. Because there's just so much Aji here. Like, these stones have so few liberties. They don't like you doing this to them. I mean, this is just going to be completely controlled. Yeah. Usually, this is the last map right here. This shape right here. This is the very last way we ever, 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 ever want to cut something. Yeah. Because there's just too much Aji behind. Those Those are not happy liberties. We want to... Uh, you. No? You. There we go. We like cutting this way because some of our stones are going to be strong, right? And we only have to worry about the cutting stone. We don't have to worry about every single stone involved in this process. It's like you're being cut. There's no much. There's not much Aji left behind. And that sort of dealio. That's not what I meant to do. You go this way. What I thought you were going to do here, and it was kind of worrying me, because you were kind of setting it up to do it, too. I thought you were going to go underneath. And I wasn't sure if this was going to be good for me if you did. Uh, I guess right now it's clearly as good for you. Never mind, I can see why you didn't do that. Ha! That, that's why That's why I played R15. Yeah, because I read that out and I, I knew you couldn't do that. Really? Swear. Scout's honor? Um, and yeah, at this point, there's just way too much to worry about. So yeah, diagonals. Uh, for cutting, for cutting, really, really bad. But for protecting, 
and attacking kind of good kind of good this diagonal really really awesome we'll play it every single time um uh da, 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 dum, dum, da, dum. where are you this diagonal really really bad never play it ever uh any questions about the game did anyone have any questions about any of this Why did Black know Tengen? Because he knows I would have immediately turned it over to someone else if he played Tengen. Be like, well, thank you very much for that one. Next. And I will go ahead and point out one more time that if anybody wishes to donate to my happy lectures and... Oh, speaking of which, oh, I forgot to mention this. I forgot to mention this. I'm sure every one of you know because you've also YouTube, but give me a minute. No, that's my, no, not, not SimCity, you moron. Um, I will also point out that I do have another one of my games uh, recorded and uploaded there on YouTube. I played against, okay, there's a reason behind this. I played against a Ford on, right? And it's because in the back of my head, I knew I wanted to redo one of my series because one of the, the, the quality of one of them is really, really bad. And I thought it was my tie game series because I'm stupid. It wasn't. It's my world baduck when I'm doing that one over again because it's all pixelated and disgusting. And that's the one that I meant to do over, not this one. So I deranked myself for no reason. Oh, well. Uh, yes, you should play on tie game. Dita says, can I have control for a second? Sure, Dita. We will give Dita control, because Dita is a cool name. Dita. Dita. Um, I don't know. Just set yourself to 5 down and see where you get. Um, do, 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 do. Uh, sure. Do, 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 do. Oh, you're pointing out that ladders don't favor me anymore. Oh, right. Okay. Yeah, I, I was fine with this too. Because he's going to back off now, and then I was, gonna get, I was just going to get the outside. I was, I was cool with that. Couldn't say where I was going to cut, though, if I was going to cut here and go for the outside, or if I was going to try to be, like, super-duper greedy pants and go into this kind of deal. And then try and get the outside. I couldn't really. I think this way... Whoops. I think this way is too much, because I shouldn't give up the extra stones. I should probably just, um either make this cut at this point, or see if I can't... see if I can't uh, get an attack on... Okay, that's stupid, you moron. Then those stones are dead. No, let's not do that, because those are dead. Yeah, this will be better. Uh, so yeah, I am going to be redoing the World Baduck series, because those are blurry, horrible, disgusting things. I even found out the name of my six down account there. I, I've someone has uh, been able to decipher the video as to what my ID is. So now I just have to figure out what my password is, so I can play six dons there as well again. So I can look forward to that. Um, aside from that, um, yeah, if we get donations, we'll have another lecture two weeks uh, in week after next as normal. Thanks all everyone for stopping by, and I will see you all next time. Take care, everybody.